Hey y'all, thank you for tuning in. My name is Ayoka and I'm getting ready to bring you a reading for Sagittarius. All right, so if your sun, moon, or rising is in Sag, welcome to my channel. If you are a Sag lover, what's up? Okay, so everybody's on different timelines. I may speak of past, present, or future energies for any one of you. Um, use the spirit of discernment. If it doesn't fit your story, please do not force it to fit, okay? I'm only speaking energy. I'm not sure if you're masculine or if you're feminine. However, take what you need and leave what you don't, okay? So, I'm going to set my intentions because we definitely got to be on the same page energetically as I read for you guys, and we got to protect ourselves. So, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guides, for helping me with this collective Sagittarius reading. Thank you for protecting us as we go through the spiritual gates to commune with you and close the gates to anything that's not in alignment. Thank you for using me as the messenger. Thank you for speaking through me loud and clear. And so it is. I ask that no weapons form no weapons formed against us shall prosper. Thank you. Okay, so let me see something. My head is a hot mess, y'all, but try to get myself straight so I can read and they won't be falling all over the place. Um don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much, you guys, for all of your support. Show me what I need to see here for Sagittarius. What's happening for Sage? All right, so I got the door to value card here in the upright position. This is about your new beginning for the most part here, especially when it comes to something you value, okay? Now, you're trying to strategize. If you're not, you need to, all right? But literally, strategy is in an upright position. So set up um, your strategy for achieving your goals overall. You're being advised to either write about the direction you want to go in or consider some type of potential change in the way that you're doing things. OK, um, have just have a conscious mind and plan when it comes to this, because the time is now when it comes to getting some things in order here in your life in order for you to continue to reach this. Right. The door to value. And you see all that, all that money coming through. So for some of you, this could be about literally building a firm foundation for yourself, especially financially. Now, with the thinking woman, it's just energy doesn't mean that, you know, it is for a woman. But however, this is about having some type of wisdom or understanding overall about your personal growth or about your personal direction. You may was confused at one time about this path. But what I'm seeing here is that you're definitely understanding some things about yourself now and about which direction you want to go in. Now, I'm going to pull some tarot, of course, because we need to jump right in and see what all of this is about. See if I can give you some clarity. Um, of course, um, tarot is going to talk about past energy, then present, then future. Kind of works through the grid. Thank you. Show me what I need to see here. The Sagittarius. What is this about? All right, so page of wands, strength card, reverse. Let me show you. So basically, you may feel impatient about something or you are lacking the ideas, okay, about how to manifest something here. With the strength card in a reverse, of course, that literally is about maybe you had some self-doubt, okay? Maybe you may have felt low in your confidence when it comes to manifesting this new beginning here. But what I'm seeing now is that you're becoming more resilient. More resilient here, especially during the times of distress, okay? So that's why you're being asked to literally write down a strategy for yourself when it comes to this goal. Thank you. Show me what I need to see. With the Two of Cups card in the reverse, there's some type of imbalance here, okay? Some type of imbalance with a relationship that you may have. Um, could be an uneven power dynamic between you and this person or um, some type of codependency. You know, this, this relationship that you have or had with this person is someone you had a very close connection with. It doesn't have to be love. It could be anything. It could be family. It could be work. Um, could be love interest but however there is an imbalance between you and this person with the ten of cups in a reverse position you're unhappy um, this is somebody here that you could definitely have been in a relationship with it's a possibility here because you guys are separated if you know you weren't in a relationship as a disconnect between you two and y'all may not be getting along with each other y'all not kicking it okay but overall it was some type of conflict 
you guys definitely were not able to feel um any type of emotional stability is what i'm hearing when it comes to this connection here thank you show me that's why there's an imbalance thank you show me what i need to see yep that the rebirth card is here in the reverse position so there's something going on sage because you could be clinging to the past. All right, so remember to flip the roles here as you see fit. Because Sag, if this is not your energy, this is someone else's energy coming through. But overall, it's like you're going through a certain cycle of transformation. And with this transition, you have to release the things that no longer serve you. And this is what I'm seeing. It's like you're understanding that now. It's like I can't mourn the loss of what's happening in my situation. I can't feel hopeless. I need to go ahead and gain some new beliefs here and keep moving forward, right? So you literally... Um, Recreating here your story is what I'm saying. You were very heartbroken about this. This is why you probably stopped taking action, stopped moving forward. You just like completely came to a standstill when it came to this because you felt, I feel a feeling of defeated. Three of swords in the upright position. And of course that talks about heartbreak and things like that, right? And um, some type of grief there as well. And with the chariot card here in the reverse, you know, again, you just didn't, you just stopped. This heartbreak really put you at a standstill. I really do feel like at one point you were determined as how to overcome whatever challenges it was. But that's where you really need to be. You still need to strive, okay, to achieve your goals when it comes to this. Still be ambitious. You may even feel determined now it's also what I'm picking up. This definitely feels like past energy for some of you, okay, but um overall it's like when it comes to your personal growth alone you have to have a full understanding of what to do next to get to that new beginning here in your life don't overextend yourself don't become obsessed don't become forceful just literally apply yourself is what i'm hearing and stay determined thank you show me what i need to see because this is about your healing overall and you being able to move on after this heartbreak that you feel from this situation here. Thank you. I know I'm always thanking my angelic team for helping me. I'll be like, thank you for that. <laughs> two of wands and a justice card next to each other. So I got the two of wands in the reverse and a justice card in the upright position. So you may have made some type of plans here and it, you may feel like it failed. That's just, just what it is, right? It could be romantic plans. It could be business plans. Whatever it is, it's just you were trying to make some type of progress here. And uh, it, yeah, I feel like it just flopped, okay? And uh, what I'm saying with the justice card that came out, it's like you got to make a decision for the most part or you did. And this is one of these decisions that's like, you know what? I ain't going to compromise some kind of way here because um, I need to make some type of decision decision that's fair because there was an injustice here that was done okay so whatever is happening or what happened between you and this person or this situation is literally one of those cause and effect type dynamics let's just put it that way all right um show me what i need to see here. so once you get clear and i definitely see you getting clear about it then you are able to really consider the path that you want to take. It gives you like a better understanding. This is why you're being asked to strategize this here. Okay, because you're following a certain process here. And, and I see that you do definitely want to commit to it with the higher font card. All right, now you're walking away from the things that no longer serve you. You're leaving cups behind you like, you know what, budget, I'm going towards the sun, right? That's your new beginning. And that's a good thing, right? Because at first you were fearing it, but now you're like, mm -mm, I'm going towards my higher purpose here and what serves me. So now it's time for me to release that. Whatever that hardship may have been with the five of cups now in the reverse position, whatever the disappointments may have been, you're literally accepting the, accepting the fact that that happened. You're not dwelling on the negative anymore and you're moving forward. You're healing from your past now, coming into the emperor energy. Y'all, that's dope literally stable structure discipline wow mm, 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 mm. you're gonna have a very successful future as long as you keep pursuing your goals here 
you're very traditional when it comes to your situation even when it comes to relationships if this is about love for some of you you use your logic here but you're not expressing your emotions okay but but overall it's like you're you're definitely um disciplining yourself here to be able to follow this process here that you're trying to commit to right with the six of pentacles here in the reverse of course again that's still speaking of some type of un um fair power dynamics or something here that was going on where somebody either was abusing um your generosity or you could have been doing this or you could have been taking advantage of something here but you know it's the way the universe works is what it's about an equal give and take okay being more supportive of the people who are in your circle thank you is what i'm hearing being more you know being generous giving sharing is something here that that may need to be um looked at when it comes to that for you because that's how the universe is going to keep bringing back to you when you um start to give whatever that may be it could be time it could be energy um it could just be a word. <laughs> you understand? You could just be really uplifting someone just by the words you speak. You know, that's still giving back into someone, feeding um, someone else's spirit or soul here. Okay. So that, again, the universe will begin to give back to you. Okay. Because you're holding on too tightly to something here. And that usually happens when what? Four Pentacles. Let me show you. You hold on too tightly to stuff because whatever happened to you in your past, you know, you may have, you may didn't have it. All right. So when we get it, we, we tell tend to like you know what I, I gotta hold on to this and that that literally becomes a part of a lack mindset it's almost like hoarding something um and when you do that again it's like you're telling the universe that you don't have room for anything new to come in you gotta release those things and you gotta realize here that you have definitely accomplished a whole lot here in your life and you've been managing those accomplishments well you don't have to be possessive of it. You don't have to hoard it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Don't overthink it. Don't do any of that. Um, literally bring balance here is what I'm seeing here in your life with this. Whether, whatever that may be, it could be just you giving, you being generous, overcoming if there's like jealousy, overcoming the jealousy. If it's past lovers that you know you need to let go of, release those things. Don't hold on so tightly because you want to be able to move on without being hindered by your past wounds. And that's what it's about. Wow, thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Knight of Swords, Knight of Cup, Wands, energy, both in the reverse, both masculine energy. And I feel like this is just energy, okay, Sag? Um, and, of course, you may be or may was operating here in a very selfish energy for the most part. Hmm. Let's see what that's about. I'm going to pull some cards on those. Okay, so don't run from, don't run from the commitment of what you're trying to do here. Because, of course, with the Hierophant card that came out, it's like you're trying to commit to a certain journey or process. So don't run from it. So you got to remember here, those um, habits or patterns need to be released. So that can go into your strategy, too, as well, when it comes to your overall healing. But they need to be released. So you got to be very clear in your thinking. You got to be a strong communicator. You got to be straightforward here and get things done is what I'm saying. It's going to take a lot of energy um to be able to do this so yeah you can't be low vibrational overall when it comes to manifesting these goals so yep because what you're doing here <laughs> is reaching milestones you closing out karmic cycles here you are definitely achieving a lot okay your efforts are going to pay off here these major milestones that you're setting for yourself honey let me tell you sag Start to give thanks now because it's happening for you. Your life is going to be more fulfilling is what I'm seeing. Eight of Wands is bringing in so much progress. I'm talking about it's, it's coming in quick. So whether it is you having to make some type of quick decision or some type of sudden changes here, um, it's trailblazing. Okay. And what I'm seeing here is like you did decide to make some type of decision here. And what you decided to do was to release that feeling, that low vibrational feeling that you may have had with the seven of cups in the reverse position, because you were very confused at one point. Why? You may have had too many damn options and you, or you may were just searching for your purpose and it was just too many 
too many options and you know it tends to create an illusion okay but with the king of cups in the reverse position here it made you overwhelmed but you're making the decision and you're choosing now to like remain calm or even use your head and your heart when it comes to balancing your situation i definitely feel like you know you're more devoted here you're more devoted you're tapping into your intuition here um and you're trying to really this is good energy be diplomatic when it comes to this situation here ten of wands in an upright position because you don't want to be burdened that's why you were anxious it was almost like you know you don't want that feeling of um being obligated to something right because what happens it ends up burning you out it creates issues for you and whatever that responsibility is that you may have had you felt burdened by it wow that's why you withdrew your energy sage with the four swords in an upright position <laughs> That's why you was like, hold up, let me take a break real quick. Let me pull back so I can recover because I'm, I can't see clear, right? With the judgment card in the reverse. I, I don't, you know, it's, it, I'm starting to feel a lot of self-doubt when it comes to this. So when you withdrew your energy, okay, or you took that time um, to retreat here, it helped awaken you. That's good. This is why you're making these adjustments. Dope. So let me see something here for you, Sage. What is it that you want Sedge to know in regards to the situation? Follow your inner voice of your soul. Sorry, I'm reading it upside down with, <laughs> with the star ancestor. Follow your voice of your soul. Okay, so let me read that from the book real quick. And then I'll move on to a monology card and then I'll close out for y'all. Shoot, what did I do with the book? I hate when I do this, y'all. Just use the book. I just did a personal reading. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Hmm. Hold on one second, y'all. I'm going to get it because... Oh, you know what? I didn't. I ended up having to look it up on my phone. Because the book is over there on my countertop. And I don't feel like getting up. So, hold up. Now I understand. Star Ancestor. Angel angels and ancestors oops there we go. man i'm sorry y'all closed out my laptop i didn't mean to do that all right so what i see here so this card says mm. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to have to get up and get my book, y'all. Aw. Sometimes they have them posted, and sometimes they don't. One second. This card says, heed the message coming directly from your soul. There is a deeper purpose to your human journey. Not only were you born on purpose, you were born for a purpose. You were born to be the bright light in the world. And there are supporters out there in the universe sending waves of energy to guide you at this time. Information and inspiration that has been coming your way recently is not new information, but their memories. Your feelings of being drawn in a particular direction are the awakening of an aspect of your soul. You are being drawn towards a role that will not only light up, but also help you light up your corner of the world. Continue following the cosmic guidance that is coming your way. Look, you are in total alignment is what I'm hearing right now. <laughs> I like to hear it because Sage, the last time I read for y'all, it was kind of like, what? <laughs> What's happening in Sage's life here? Let me see. And then I want to pull one more card, which is the Moonology deck. And let's 
see here. Let me find out. Ain't nothing in order right now. I'm tripping. Thank you. Let me what I need to see here for saying. So that's what you're doing. It's it's time for you, and I feel like a lot of you are already doing this. You're balancing your spirituality with your practicality. So now you're really realizing here that it's going to take you using your intuition and operating in your higher self here in your everyday practical life, right? In order for you to be able to function here. So that's seeing anything else here. Thank you. And step outside of your comfort zone. So, and you stepping outside of your comfort zone. I already feel like that's energy that's happening for you right now. Um, definitely. Let me see here. So, full moon in Pisces. It says, have you been so hit in the clouds that you lost touch with reality? If so, take this card as a sign that you need to pay attention and make concerted effort to move towards your goals. The more practical steps you can take, the better. It's time to find an inner balance between your responsibilities and your dreams. Meditate on your question and, and the solution to your issue may now come through very clearly. If you're in a tricky situation because you've been acting the martyr, this card will be a message from the cosmos to drop the act for everyone's sake. Meditate every day and see what comes to you. Answers will come. Okay, so follow your intuition. It will not let you down. All right, now with the step out of your comfort zone, this is operating in your north node. Okay, so that's literally about your life purpose. You know what you are literally called here to do. But there is a strong feeling when you get this card that it's time to leave the past behind somehow because you're headed in the right direction. If you want to be happy and fulfilled, you need to get going towards doing the things that scare you within reason. This card is all about living your life purpose, which is possibly what you asked about. It's urging you to dare to do something different with your life and your direction to take action. So are you willing to follow through and lead the life you're incarnated to live, Sedge? If you finally find the courage to make the leap, there's a good chance you'll come to ask yourself, why didn't I do this a long time ago? Just know that you are headed in the right direction. You are headed into something which feels like destiny. You need to face a fear and get over it. It's time to ob stop obsessing about it. Okay, stand on your own two feet. You got this. <laughs> you got this, Edge. All right. So I hope that they help you guys out. Um, definitely, if you feel like this resonated, hit the like button. Leave me a nice positive comment. Um, I do this here to literally help uplift you guys, um, to put you back on track. You know, that's my whole purpose as a light worker. I'm here to raise the vibration of my collective, not lower it. Okay. So if it's anything that I may have said that could have triggered you, take and just step back for a second take some breaths go within really connect to why you may have felt that way but overall it feels like the reading is a one um and that's some good news for you okay but if you're still in the state here where you haven't stepped outside of your comfort zone <laughs> and you're not seeing any changes take place uh, it's definitely something that you need to go within to really see okay to make some adjustments here um so that you can start to manifest this this is about your life purpose stage all right now I definitely do love you guys and I will catch you guys soon, hopefully next week. Um, until then, enjoy the rest of your week. Peace.